Now let's look at how you can use the option to freeze rows and columns. And you'll see I've got my spreadsheet open, I've gone to the view tab, and you have got the option of freeze panes. Now what this allows me to do is it allows me to freeze certain cells or rows or columns in place. So when I actually scroll through this document, certain things will remain in place. So let's go and have a look. As you can see, when I scroll, everything moves down. So let's go to freeze panes and I'm going to say freeze top row. And do you see what happens? Only the top row is kept in place. It's frozen in place. I'm going to go up to view freeze panes and now I'm going to say freeze first column. See that line that pops up there? What's going to happen now is when I move over to the right, that first column is frozen in place. Okay. So what if I get to a point where I actually want to maybe keep, you know, these items frozen and I want everything over here. In other words, my first three rows frozen as well. Well, the last option I've got is freeze panes. So wherever I click within my particular spreadsheet, like the one I've got over here, let's say I click on the cell. When I say freeze panes, if you look at that icon over there, it's going to freeze all the rows above this particular cell and the ones to the left. So let's go and test it out. If I go freeze panes, do you see what immediately happens? And then I scroll through. The rest has been frozen in place. If I move that up that way and I say, okay, let's unfreeze those panes and let's freeze it based on this selection now. Do you see what happens? That's what now happens. So please, if there um, are columns and rows that you need to freeze at the same time, you'll first go and click on the cell and then click on freeze panes. Otherwise, if they want you to freeze only the top row or only the first column, you can use these options. But this is how we freeze panes or hold those particular rows or columns in place as we are scrolling through our worksheet.